All right, let's let's flare up this time. I need a cool dodge. And then this thing. Dodge it, dodge. God damn it. It's too fast to dodge. Well, for me at least. Well, I mean, that could have gone better. In fact, I think it went better last time. It's the flashbangs. Got those two. Without any problems. Alright, if we open, can we throw down a flare inside? We can. I don't know if that's doing any good at them, but. Alright, we got that guy at least. And a Chivo. Someone else inside. No? Oh, yes, it is. Get rid of it. Why is he wanting me to go there? Who's his boss, anyway? His boss had promised him that. What the hell? Oh. Wait, what? A, a darkness tornado? That part is uncool. That part is very uncool. The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Yeah. I don't want to get electrocuted, so... Can we find a way to turn it off? Hello, friends. Oh god, there's a lot of them. <laughs> I don't even need to boost to deal with you. And that flashbang did a lot of work. to turn off the power in here, hopefully. Maybe some pages? Please? No. There we go. Like that. Of course, this is gonna turn off all the lights as well. No? The yeah, light's still semi-on. Oh, there goes the lights. Therefore, more 
darkness monsters. More of the Taken. Dodge. It's amazing to me that, like... It's like it creates objects from darkness rather than possess objects. Because they literally disappear once I've done shooting light at them. Okay, hello. More friends. Damn it. There's a lot of dudes here. Oh shit, no, that was a flare gun. Okay, well that looked really cool, that was almost worth it just because of that. But no, I'll save that one. Last guy. That's a lot of shotgun ammo used. Oh, come on, man. That was too close. Dodge, dodge. I'm ripping through batteries here, but I guess that's what it's for. Mirror Peak. Whenever the music stops and it gets all calm, you know it's trying to trick you. Alright, that's more batteries. Oh yeah, there's some creepy noises here. Oh, come on! A chair? No, that's something more. That's a dude. How many, okay, how many are there? Let me back up and get a sight of people. Two. Ow! Why do they, why do they always hit so well? Sneaky bastards. Okay, I'm running low. Save that for the big dudes. I mean, the flare gun is for the big, 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 big dudes. Oh, I don't like that footstep noise. Back off, back off, buddy. We dropped a flare. That's the rules. When I drop a flare, you gotta back up. Alright, a bunch of small dudes. Alright, thanks. Thanks for the helpful tip, light writer. You know, they could tell me stuff that's actually useful. Like, the location you need to go to is there, or ambush coming from the top. Instead, it's all dark bad, light good, dark bad, light good, follow. Okay, thanks. Thanks, that's better. I do like that. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the Dark Presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Like Thomas Zane? Or like me? Because I'm not the only writer. Alright, gonna find some dudes here, probably. Because there's a gate. 
No, 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 no. What the f... Did he just try to throw a tree on me? Who throws a tree? Honestly. I'll give her max on batteries. The gate. Stupid kidnapper changing the place we need to go. Cool. I don't like it at all. There was no way the flash flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. Nope. Dark evil ooze on the ground. Okay, before we go, is there anything here? There might be. Like a yellow note on the wall for secret stuff? Eh? eh no, no. It's no secret stuff. Okay, then. Come at me, darkness. I'm pretty well equipped now. Got flares. Got flashback. Ow! How dare you! I shouldn't waste boost on that, or at least if I do, I need to wait for it to recover. Mostly I can just ignore it, I think. Liquid ooze darkness. Aha! I see a dude! How many dudes do I see? Three? Oh, I was out of ammo. In the gun itself. Hello, buddy. Come to me. How many throwables do they have? Back off, buddy. Come on. Alright. No more messing about. We threw one of those. I'll save a few. I still have the flare gun, though. It's an undertone of some action music here. Of course we're gonna run in mist as well. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. He's gonna run out of writer names soon enough. But I'm interested in these pages of manuscript that apparently says I'm gonna murder someone because that's new. Can we go up here? Because there's the note of the thing. That. Into the actual coal mine. Oh, trust no one in the dark, you say? I thought I thought I could trust them all in the dark. My bad. Thanks for teaching me, tor torch people. I was walking around there, just being all... Hey, dark person, I'm a... Tr okay, of course. Of course. Okay, well, screw you. Let's 
that annoying one. Come on, get it, get it, last bit. Kill it. There we go. Right now, I think we need to get a switch to. We are running out of ammunition. I mean, I like getting a lot of light here. I guess I mean flashbangs and stuff, but ammunition is kind of important too. Gotta shoot these assholes. It's a Alan. It wasn't Alan's fault. It was my fault. All right, Alan, let's do this. Let's walk a little bit safer this time. Pick it up, pick it up. Yeah, you're standing on nothing, but you picked it up. All right, down we go. Still more ammunition for the revolver. Oh, more ammunition. And lots of stuff. I like it. Let's grab everything here first. Shotgun ammo. Oh, thank you. I uh, think. Can we start this thing? No. But this is gonna go out, isn't it? Revolver ammo. Thank you. Alright, Tamara Peak. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, Pump action. I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. That's something. Something over here? Well, it's, there's darkness over here. No, 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 no. Ha! Ha ha! Walk into the light, fools! I got there quick enough. No, 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 no. You, you stay on now. It's not going to stay on. All right, one dude behind, one dude in front. The dodge. Now, of course, it was another guy, always another guy. Thankfully, the shotgun has more things in it. I just need to reload every time. Alright. Okay. More light. T turn it on. Turn. Alan, Alan, turn it on. Alan. Dodge. Right. That's the last flare gun shot I had. But that might be worth it, or maybe it was worth it, I don't know. Turn it down again! I think we just gotta go now. There's Peak. Hooray! Lights. Yeah, the we're, um, business was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? I mean, probably. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. Why? Oh, it's an... 
Uh, one of those fast assholes. Who are you? Do I recognize you? Better sneak up on me again. Okay, we got him. We have some flashbangs, actually. I think I'll, I'll use that one more than a flare. And, well, we don't have a lot of shotgun ammo, but... I'll have to try. The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. Ow. You gonna possess a car? And then I can delete the car with light. Oh. It's definitely supernatural. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Well, I have to get something going. Repeat Gorge. Close to 1970. Well, it's been a while since then. Which way am I going around here? Aha! Some batteries. Batteries seem to be fairly plentiful, so I don't need to worry too much about running out of them. A little bit more worried about ammunition. Hey, at least thermoses, though. Yeah, see? Speaking of, batteries. Find more pages. Because pages mean story. Okay, let's dodge here. Behind the thing, and then we can. Hide behind the car, hide behind the car. And then light your ass up. Alright. Back to calm. Temporarily. Nope, yep. Temporarily, alright. Light as much as we can. Line of sight. Alright, we can let it recharge a bit without inserting a battery. But again, not like we're running out anytime soon. Oh no!
No secret message. No torch society. Here to speak with me. Light it up, light it up, light it up. A little bit more. Did it hit me? I, I don't think it hit me, actually. We managed. Alright, we gotta put in a battery for this one. Nice. And the sh Chivos are coming in fast and hot now. Of course. For the door. Can I not just shoot the door open with my shotgun? I feel like that could work fairly well. Oh, I got the key. 